come back to sap and now there's avocados and taco salads dude it's i i forgot to mention i think i tweeted it to dan though i went to uh to taco time oh no no okay fair enough i'll take eight i went to taco time for the first time in my wife uh, in my life <laughs> this is phrasing i was because two stories got intermingled there because I was at the mall buying a birthday gift for my wife. And while I was there, I was like, oh shit, bachelor food court. I can get whatever I want from the food court. It's not like, listen, you could phrase this in the, in the least Sigma way possible. Whatever my wife is going to get from the food court, I would say 90% of the time, I go, yeah, I'll just get that too. Because I don't want to wait in two separate lines get two transactions on my credit card statement and then like have to meet up at maybe like different or, or walk through the whole food court trying to figure out where she sat down. Like it's just easier that way. So I will, I'll, I'll just get whatever she wants to get. So usually if we're at the mall food court, we get like a, a Juba juice or something like that, or we'll get a, some A&W. But I was like, oh, I'm in charge of my own destiny today. I'm going to go to taco time. I had a, a, marinated chicken taco salad i actually i was listen i would not say that it's like the craziest uh, like most delicious mexican food i've ever eaten in my life but it was a lot better than i expected i i left impressed i left saying that that i if i had to i would eat it at taco time again i thought it was like poison but it was actually pretty good taco salads inherently mid yeah i was at the mall food court That's where mid food thrives. I mean, like what we're talking. There's a there's a taco time. There's like a Thai Express. I've eaten at that Thai Express before, and it's just slap in the face. I would never. There's a, a Chinese food restaurant that gave my wife food poisoning at the height of COVID insanity. So we had to drive like with her and our three month old infant to North Vancouver to the only urgent care that was open. Uh, she got a COVID test, even though she was like, I'm throwing up. They're like, it's probably COVID. And then like three hours later, they're like, oh, it's not COVID. You're like, yeah, I know. Now, okay, so there is a, um, there's Chachi's, this, the Vancouver sandwich restaurant. At least I think it's Vancouver. It's, um, that place is okay. Don't get me wrong. I, I, but I, because I go there that often, I said, no, I'm going someplace else. There's New York fries. I'm not 17 years old. So like, I'm not... I'm not going to New York fries at the mall. Like, it's just... I've aged out of it. Chachi's is fine if a little overpriced. So I'm going to use you as a conduit to put society on blast. I'm sick of hearing how restaurants are overpriced. Because no, I don't think there's been... The, the number of resta restaurants that get labeled as overpriced versus cheap is actually like 95 to 5. So if it's overpriced, then fucking stop eating there. I'm sick of hearing about how I was forced to buy a $12 sandwich, but actually I wish sandwiches were ten twenty. Go to a place where sandwiches are ten twenty. then. Uh, they don't exist anymore. Then the restaurant's not overpriced. The restaurant is market priced, and, but it's priced you out. So it's, like, it's not that the restaurant is, at, is like, oh, how am I going to like bend this customer over? Is that all the, if all the restaurants are overpriced, then the market is overpriced and it's not the restaurant's fault. I would accept that, oh, this restaurant is overpriced if I didn't hear it about 85% of the restaurants on the market. It is overpriced though. It's not overpriced. You just <laughs> don't want to pay for it or can't pay for it. Because if it's, if it's priced where it's priced and it's open and it's thriving, then that shit is not overpriced. It's appropriately priced. It's overpriced for the value I received? Then don't go there! If you stop going there, maybe they'll go out of business and a cheaper restaurant will take their place. And definitely don't tip. Tell that to my $16 Chipotle. This would, honestly, Chipotle is like the catalyst for this. So many people were like, uh, I, I'm so sick of Chipotle steak burrito bowl. It keeps going up. It goes up like $1.50 a year. Okay, fucking stop buying it then. I also wish that it was cheaper. I, I'll tell you, I had my Chipotle moment. I went to order some Chipotle and I was like, I'm not paying $14 for a burrito. Are you insane? And then I've never been back. Instead, my ass is buying $22 salad bowls and they have the audacity to ask me afterwards, hey, do you want to tweet for free? 
about how you got this salad bowl? And I'm like, absolutely not. If you take a dollar off my bill, then we'll start talking. But for free, I mean, you, you, I'd have to be the stupidest idiot on the planet. So now a $14 burrito is overpriced? Yeah, so I don't go there. So is it, I mean, is it overpriced? Sure. Does it affect me? No, because I simply say to myself, I'd, ra I'd rather starve. What do you eat? I had two slices of bread with hummus, a, a banana, an apple, and a clementine for breakfast this morning. Is Subway overpriced? Well, it, okay. I'm starting to understand where we, we come to conflict here. It's obviously overpriced. That much is like, it's, it's not even debate. Don't buff this guy. Thank you so much. It's not even debatable. At least, what, what you get in Subway, the price is not the ingredients or the taste, which is probably not what you want to hear if you're running a so-called restaurant. <laughs> That's like a, it's like a $7 sandwich that costs $12. So there's a $5 convenience charge for going to Subway. So the sandwich is certainly overpriced. That, that much is not even up for debate. The experience is also overpriced. But I would never be like, oh, I hate Subway. It's overpriced. Because if, if I found it too overpriced, I simply would not consume their food. But what I do instead is consume their food, I don't know, maybe like twice monthly. Billy, Billy. You just said it's overpriced? Well, that's because I'm trying to, like, kowtow to you rather than... I don't think it's overpriced. They just show... They flip the Interact machine around and I just tap my card before I even look at the decimal points. But, like, on an objective level, is it overpriced? Yeah, probably. They're, like, eight bucks? They're not eight. But, I, listen, you're back in the $5 foot-long era, unfortunately. The Subway sandwich. And you gotta... There's a CAD to USD as well. I would say the average foot long, unless you're getting like ham, we're talking it's like in the $12 zone. And then if you're adding on top of that, uh, you know, a, a drink and the... Uh, and uh, listen, the other thing I don't respect about Subway, after COVID, well, during COVID, they shut down the fountain drinks. So they only had bottle drinks available, which is like my... It, uh, we've been talking about it a lot. I don't really mind security theater until it starts to affect the bottom line. So like the, with the fountain drinks were part of the, they were baked into the combo price. It was like the lowest possible price that you could get for the combo was with a fountain drink. Then they said, we can't run fountain drinks because everyone's going to get COVID. You have to instead put your hand on this handle, slide open a fridge that everybody else is sliding open with their bare hands and grab a bottle out of the fridge. The bottle's like... 35% more expensive. And then now they're like, there's no COVID restrictions, but they didn't bring the fountain back. So now that shit, that's like a, they raised their prices, but then also there's like a permanent raise of the price floor. It's almost like it's overpriced. Listen, do you want to own me? Or do you want to have like a conversation where we learn something about the world? Because what I'm not trying to say, it, it depends on the concept of, of what do you mean when you say overpriced? Is it too expensive for what it's worth? Then yeah, probably like half the shit in the world is overpriced. Because like people are like, why would I buy this thing at this restaurant when I could buy the ingredients at the grocery store for less? Well, because the person that's running the restaurant, like that's their fucking job. So you need to pay more for the ingredients because you also need to pay the people that are running the restaurant to be able to buy their own shit to run their own life. Like, when whatever you're doing in your own life right now... Okay, well, listen. That's probably not true. I was going to say that you're probably overpriced as well. But, like, everything is, by definition, overpriced in this sense. The fact that you could... That, like, the only things that are not overpriced is when you buy, like, 10,000 paperclips on AliExpress. You're like, holy shit, if I had to make my own paperclip... I don't even know. It would probably take me like $50 of, of labor and seven cents of iron pellets to get it done, right? Or Uline or something. like Exactly. So I say everything else, like you ever go get a massage or something like that? A massage could be like a hundred bucks an hour. For what? You're literally paying for nothing. You're paying for touch. Why don't you just touch your own body? It's because you're paying for the... 
when you overpay for things within your community, your community has more money. The more money flows around your community, your community gets nicer. Everyone's happier. Less people are cutting each other off on the road. They're, it's, uh, they're waving to each other. They're saying, have a nice day. They're saying, they, they've got one thing. A shopping cart is in front of them. The person with the shopping cart says, you go ahead, you go ahead, because I've got a full cart. You've got one thing. It just makes the, the whole world more pleasant. I think it's, I guess what I'm trying to say is I hate sauerkraut. No, what I'm trying to say is, I think it's, it, it doesn't feel good to overpay at like an international chain. It feels good to overpay at a local restaurant. Like when you overpay at a subway, you're like, I'm a piece of crap. But when you overpay at like Bill's Cafe, and you're like, oh, a coffee really shouldn't be like 485, it should really be 460. You're like, whatever, man. That's Bill. I don't, I don't want Bill's coffee shop to be replaced by a Tim Hortons. Again, I have to be honest with myself, because if I let chat drive the conversation, and I know you're not going to want to hear this, they, they just want to argue and say like, oh, five seconds ago when you were trying to make me laugh, you said something that was uh, dishonest. And now you're saying something that disagrees with that. So, like, what gives with that? Well, that's because I was in a fucking fugue state when I was ranting about the mall food court, okay? What I'm trying to say is I feel like I... When people say a restaurant is overpriced, I discount it a little bit. The main reason I discount it is because it's the most common complaint I hear about restaurants. That's, the, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say that no rest. I was, I, I'm guilty, uh, if of anything, I'm guilty of trying to concoct a bit, which is that if every restaurant is overpriced, then, that's not, then the market is overpriced. So your ass should be eaten at home, which is fine. You may, you may agree or you may disagree. But I feel like also, because I'm guilty of this as well, in my head, I, when I started buying my own meals, I anchored at like, that's what food costs. So the idea that like going out for a lunch and that like the the menu is like what the hell 14.99 for lunch those are dinner prices like that's crazy but I got to recognize you know this is in 2007 in you know like mid urban Ontario like I can't go out for lunch and and get like a, a an entree a main and a side for $6.99 Canadian anymore like we got to We've, we've moved past. There's different types of overpriced. I think that's fair. Well, like Subway is overpriced because you get nothing except calories for the food. <laughs> for the price, I should say. <laughs> that's, and that hurts the most. At least when you go to a local place and it's expensive, you're like, I'm adding to the culture of my neighborhood. At least the people at this business are probably making a fair wage. It's not just uh, going straight to the franchiser. You do that, but honestly, you're probably not helping much. Oh, do you run the local businesses in my community? Or are you, are you merely a chatter? Answer me. Answer me, Billy Billy. You pay $22 for a salad? I actually, again, this was for the bit. You, you guys are in, you know, you know how I talk about how you can optimize your life in like a few different ways? And especially when it comes to games, I, am, I get annoyed that people optimize their fun out. They're like, yeah, the game is fun, but if I wanted to win, what I would do is never run the fun build and I would just exclusively take the Groza every time. And then every time I come third, instead of being like, Pog, I'm in third, you go, oh, I should have been in first, but they had the Groza with the angled foregrip and I had the straight foregrip and the bro had a bison with a lemon, so what am I supposed to do about it? So literally, like, I'm out here making jokes and you're like, there's some cognitive dissonance with these jokes. Okay, get ready for every other stream you've ever seen on Twitch. I really like to purchase a lemon now, but I don't know if the lemon's really appropriate for anybody. Hey, thanks Beardy Ginger for the gifted subscriptions. I helped you through some hard times. Yeah, I am, I'd say I'm pretty special. Like I'm out here grinding every single day with my 25 hour work week. Like I'm doing, I'm doing the best that I can. I'm gonna put a lemon on a skunk. I know a lot of people are probably gonna be annoyed with that. They're gonna say the carrot had like a lot of upside. And maybe you're right. I'd love if you think that the carrot would have been better. Make sure to leave a comment. I'd love to see it. Melon's pretty good. And then you know what? I'm not gonna buy a croissant. I think I'd rather just roll for some chocolate. Hold on, my food's here.
So, oh, what did I miss? Oh, I won. I didn't even know what was happening. Man, this food is so good. I don't have anything to crinkle. Oh, banana. I've got a banana from DoorDash. Well, eight bucks? Yeah, no big deal. Thanks for the subscriptions, guys. So I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to threaten you and say, like, well, be careful what you wish for because that's gonna, what the stream's going to become. For whatever reason, that's not in my nature. Um, so you should just, like, leave and watch a more... A less cognitively dissonant streamer. And and I wish you the best, honestly. I wish you happiness and contentedness, quite frankly. I have not, nothing but respect for my boys in purple. No. Hold on, we're still living? No, we're not! Yes, we are!